got to Edisto late afternoon yesterday. It was pouring rain. And uh, so today is really the first opportunity we have to um, get out and explore, check things out. So I'm on a trail that's 1.7 miles long and it's supposed to end at some Indian burial mound. So we'll check it out, see what's going on. Hopefully I didn't make a wrong turn. We end up at the right place. I gotta tell you, so uncomfortable to ride this bike. Look at the handlebars, they're all wonky from the fall on I-95. So it's tilted to the right, and then the right handlebar is tilted to the bottom. So when I'm riding, my right shoulder's much lower than my left. So weird, but it's getting the job done. This is so, so very cool. At least to someone from South Florida, we're not used to seeing this. So this is part of the trail that I'm on and it leads to this boardwalk. And then you have all these homes here. And it really does look like nobody's been here for a thousand years other than these homes here off to our right in the power lines, but I guess that's a big but. But, but, if you pan over to the left, it looks like nobody's been here for a thousand years. So I thought I was on the right track and um, turns out I'm just getting further and further away. The Indian mounds are here. I rode bike and I'm here. Could it be further from where I started? Oh well, still a blast. So much fun. So I rode a lot of bike through these trails and I spoke with a ranger and he told me I was still about a mile away from the Indian Mound, but he says their DNR department basically excavated everything for archeological reasons and then they fenced it off. So he says all we really would get is a nice view of the marsh. So I decided not to go there and just um, kind of enjoy this area. Check this out, this is beautiful.
So notice there's rod holders here. Again, another little fishing pier. And uh, we have a fishing charter scheduled for tomorrow with Captain John Irwin. And uh, we're going to try to have Jenny catch some redfish, but I need to find out if uh, there's any decent fishing here because we could drive up, park, and uh, fish here for a little while and see if she catches some redfish or a redfish. So they have a bird feeder here and so many cardinals. There's one there, there's another one up there, another one there, another one there. There's gotta be, I don't know, eight, 10 cardinals? So, so cute to see these, these little birds. Look at it right there. So we are now in Beaufort, South Carolina. It was about an hour, 15 minute drive up from Edisto. We are walking around the waterfront and we're gonna walk through Bay Street. So we'll keep you guys posted. And um, we're really looking forward to it. such a nice and uh, scenic spot where we're at. Check this out.
Well, we went to Beaufort and uh, it is a really cute little town. The main strip there is called Bay Street and has maybe three blocks with cool stores on either side. And it has the marina, which you guys saw. So, um, I don't know, you could probably spend three, four hours there and then you can head on somewhere else. Now we are in Hunting Island and this is part of a state park. So we're going to just kind of move through this pretty quickly and um, just see this park for the first time. We may come back here and camp uh, next time around. <music> the lighthouse that we wanted to check out so we're going to walk down this beach and uh, see if there's uh, an entrance on this side if not we'll probably have to drive to it but again this is this is really beautiful and notice there's hardly anybody here almost nobody here except for 